Hey, what's up guys? It's Stargirl the Practical Witch. Welcome to another one of my pick a card readings. Today we're going to do an October 2018 forecast slash prediction. So as usual, before we get started, I need you to pick one of the four groups. This is group one, group two, group three, group four. Once you've picked a group, you can fast forward to the timestamp I'll provide down below to see what will happen to you in October 2018. I ask that you pick with your gut and not your eyes. So with that, once you've picked a group, you can fast forward to the timestamp I'll provide down below to see what your results are. All right, let's get started. Group number one. Group number one, what will happen to you in October? So. This is really telling me so far that in October you're going to be emotionally fulfilled and financially fulfilled. Both of these are very good signs. So not only are your finances going to be looking good in October, your emotional and mental health is also going to be looking good. So that is extremely positive. There's also something you're going to do with your appearance that's going to make you feel confident it's going to make you feel sexy and it might be changing your hair changing your wardrobe i don't know what it is but you're going to be looking damn good in october 2018 and people are going to notice people are going to take notice of it um you might have an admirer that you haven't you know or more admirers than you normally have and with the nine of cups this really tells me you're going to be appreciating the little things in life you're going to be in a really good mood put it that way um, you're going to be quicker to see the positive instead of the negative in October and you know that's always awesome because I don't know about you guys but my moods are unpredictable sometimes I'm super positive sometimes I'm really negative but in October it's going to be a very positive month for you where you're going to be looking at the bright side and everything is just going to seem to go your way it's going to be very lucky so that's awesome um, however, there is somebody who's going to want to start drama with you over the internet and it's going to be extremely freaking petty. <laughs> They're going to want to like get on you for some post on Instagram or Facebook or maybe um, you're going to get a little heated over something someone posts on the internet and it's going to make you very angry and it's going to cause a little bit of some online drama so be careful of that as well. Now this is a general reading so I have a bunch of different um, things going on. It, bunch of different messages coming across my head so I'm just gonna shout out pretty much everything I see not everything may relate but uh, keep in mind this is a general reading so I just realized that I have candles lit and I'm putting my arm over them and that was a very stupid idea but hopefully you guys like this setup because my arm hairs are burning off um, there, this also indicates that there might be someone on social media who's liking your posts, like everything you post, they seem to like it. This person has a crush on you or has some sexual attraction going on to you, but they aren't really... I mean, they may DM you, they may direct message you, but I think it's mainly just like liking your stuff, trying to get your attention online. And because like I said, there's something about you that's going to be shining. There's something about you in October that's going to be sexy and you're going to catch people's eye. So, um, you know, look out for that. There's going to be someone who's going to notice and is going to be flirting with you a little bit over social media. Now, I'm also seeing with... Uh, I feel like I have to be a beauty vlogger and do this with my new camera. Okay, there's going to be someone who is probably going to be stalking you on social media. Now, this could be an ex or someone you rejected. There's going to be someone who is just creeping on your page and, you know, looking at your live posts on Instagram because they're going to want to know what's up with you because they're going to see you thriving. They're going to see you looking good and they're going to be like, oh, hey, what's going on with this chick or guy? And... My statistics on YouTube are mainly female, so if I mess up and misuse pronouns, I apologize sincerely. Um, it's just out of habit. <laughs> so I'm also seeing that it could possibly be the other way around. It could be you are going to be creeping on an old flame or you're going to see um, an ex on social media or you're going to be, um, you know, doing a little light internet stalking with a crush you might have online, but it's strictly going to be online. It's going to be someone you find very attractive. So it could go either way um, with you or them. 
We also have possibilities. So this means that this could be the start of a relationship actually. This could be the start of something serious in a romantic sense or this could mean that you're going to start to get passionate about a creative venture in October. So um, with the Seven of Cups, this normally talks about daydreaming, having an idea for the future, um, and the Page of Wands talks about passion because it is a fire card in the beginning stages of a passion. So you might be feeling extra creative, you might have some dreams about things that you know would make you a lot of money in the future, or ways you can express yourself, or ways that will make you happy. So that's really cool. Um, but you know you have to remember that you can't just daydream about things that you want to do you actually you actually have to like um put them into action so that's going to be the challenge in october is taking those great creative ideas taking those passions taking those things you may want to do and actually um, taking your head out of the clouds and grounding it um, and actually doing it and don't let insecurity or fear of failure hold you back because i'm also seeing that this is going to be something that you really want to do and it could relate to your highest soul's purpose. It could relate to um, something you were meant to do in this life. So if you have a creative idea that you're getting passionate about, just freaking do it. Stop thinking about it. Just do it because it's going to work out for you in the future because I'm seeing all positive cards. I'm thinking, seeing emotional fulfillment and financial fulfillment. So take this seriously. Don't just see this as another passing fancy. Really go ahead and do it. Take the plunge because the passion is there, the creativity is there, the drive is going to be there, the only thing that's going to be stopping you is some possible anxiety or possible doubts you may have. And then, you know, all of these cards have double meanings. So we have the Shadow Queen, um, Scarcity Consciousness. Don't worry about failing. Just Look, when I started my YouTube channel, I was so bad, but I didn't care about that. I just did it because I was passionate and it was fun and I liked it. And you know, now I'm, I'm doing okay for myself. So use that as an example. Don't worry about failure. Just do it because you're passionate. Just do it because it's creative. And I'm seeing that if you do it in the future and later months will really pay off for your emotional health and material wealth, okay? And then we have damsel. So, like I said, we're going to be looking fine. We're going to be having some admirers doing the makeup makeup tutorial lady thing. Okay, that's all right. That's all right, camera. <laughs> um, you're going to be looking really good, and you're going to be getting admirers. And, you know, you're going to be enjoying the intention. You're going to want to flirt. You're going to want to explore a little. There's going to be a lot of uh, little crushes that you have online or maybe some online flirting, like I said. And it says, understanding the nature of healthy romance inspire you to rely on yourself. So you might, um, you might fancy, you know, being in a relationship but right now, I think in October, even though there might be, like like I'm seeing some short flings, it might be better to just remain independent because this is a card of independence and really just appreciate all the attention you're getting because you deserve it because you're going to be shining. Now, if you're already in a relationship, um, there might be someone, uh, like a third party, trying to weasel their way in. Um, it might be after you, not your partner. I'm sensing it's going to be like they're going to be after you. But, you know, just... Just ignore it and go about your business. You don't need to be bothered by them anyway. So that's all I have for the first group. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the second group. Group number two, let's see what October 2018 has in store for you. So, all right, so in October 2018, you're going to be juggling um, a few things in your life. You're going to be quite busy. You're going to have a lot on your plate. And I'm almost seeing that you're going to be juggling, you know, your social life and you're going to be juggling work and that's going to be rather inconvenient. Um, I'm also seeing that your spirit guides will be trying to contact you in October. There's some message they need to tell you and it has something of the utmost importance. It's, it's meant to teach you a lesson. So you might see 1111 on the clock. You might see number sequences on the clock or randomly such as 111, 222, 333, 444. And that is your spirit guides, your higher being, God, whatever religion you believe in, trying to get your attention, trying to be like, 
hey, we have an important lesson. We need to teach you something. And it might have to do with your higher life purpose, your soul's purpose, what you were brought here on this earth to do. So pay attention to what's going on in your life when you're seeing these repeating number sequences on the clock because it might be a message to pay attention to your current thoughts or actions or what's going on around you during that time. And I'm also seeing that there's going to be an opportunity for you to teach someone, maybe who's someone who's younger than you or less experienced than you. There's going to be an opportunity for you to almost lead the way and be a role model for someone. And you're almost going to act as their guardian angel in their life. So really embrace that and don't just brush it over because one of the best ways, I don't know about you guys, but I struggle with anxiety and depression. And one of the best ways to get over that is to help someone else on their journey, their spiritual journey or whatever they're going through. It makes you feel good first of all second of all karma is great third of all um you're brought here to help other people you know we're all here to help each other on our journey so you're going to be someone's angel in october and really you know be glad that you get to do that that's going to be awesome i'm also seeing that maybe you might be um a little reckless with finances um you might have a tendency to overspend because you're feeling a little stressed out from everything on your plate. So you so you might, you know, go on a little spending spree. Just be careful of that. It's okay to spoil yourself a little bit, all right? But, you know, just keep in mind, like, put the spoiling to a limit. And, um... Let's see what else I'm seeing. So we have the sacred union, partnership, and romance. So there's going to be an emphasis. There's going to be an emphasis on um, your relationships, your soul relationships. And I'm almost feeling like a romantic relationship. So if you're already in a loving relationship, this means that it might grow. It might mature as we see from the hermit. Um, you guys might have some more fun together, might be going out a little bit more, doing you know some party activities, maybe pushing some responsibilities on the side um this could also mean you know this is a sign from the universe that whoever you're going to be involved with in october is actually a soulmate as we see from the temperance and to pay close attention to them and to value them because they were brought here on this earth for a reason and that's for you now this could also mean if you're single that a soulmate will be making an entrance into your life and they're actually going to be sent from your guardian angels to teach you a lesson so it could go either way and to really pay attention to them because they might have an important message or a important lesson for you now on the other hand because you know life is not all rainbows and sunshines even though i wish it was there might be someone who um says something very careless to you they might bully you a little bit they might um, be insulting in the way they speak they might um, say something before they think and it's going to be very hurtful and you're going to be like how could they say that to me right but look this person, I'm, I'm really picking up that this person means well. They might just be trying to help you or teach you or keep you from something. Or there, there might be um, something going on in their life where they're really unhappy and they're letting it out on you. I don't think this has anything to do with you. This person who speaks carelessly to you doesn't hate you. They don't dislike you. It has nothing to do with you. It has something to do with what's going on with them. And it's going to have something to do with maybe, you know, they're going to just be looking out for your best interests, but it's coming off as being a bully or mean. So keep that in mind um, when someone, you know, just talks to you without thinking and hurts your feelings. It has nothing to do with you. And if you show empathy towards them, that will be the best thing. Instead of flipping out, being like, hey, what's going on with you? Are you okay? Or like... Um, I appreciate what you're saying and I see why you might be hurt. So try to take the empathetic approach to that situation. Now we also have um, food, eating, be mindful of the thoughts you are ingesting. So don't let their negativity get in your head. Don't let... Um, you know, whatever nasty thing they say, get in your head, just filter it out and realize this has nothing to do with you. And I know that's really hard when someone is mean to you. Trust me, I have a YouTube channel. Um, being online, you know that people will act out on you, like, you know, call you the F word, even though they don't know you, you know, it has nothing to do with you. It has something to do with them and show empathy. Just don't take it into your reality. Be like, that's cool. And be kind to yourself as well. Be kind to yourself because, you know, Maybe um, you might want to go on a diet or something. I'm also feeling like you might want to go on a diet and exercise regime. You might be sick of the way you look. Be kind to yourself. Do it because you want to be healthy, not because, you know, you hate your body. Because if you do it because you hate your body, 
I mean, you just do unhealthy things. So if you're going to diet or do anything like that, please be kind to yourself. Please do it the healthy way. And we also have healing. So I think this October is going to be a really good time. I think you're going to spend some um, time, you know, contemplating your life and spending some time alone to really... Um, mull over the events of the year and to really just heal and balance. I think I think October for you is, you know, going to be a month of balance and balancing your your work, your play, your emotions, kind of centering your soul, some centering your mental health, centering your energy as well. And you know, if you need to like be like, all right, guys, I can't hang out. I need a mental health day. Or, you know, if you haven't called out sick in a, like in like six months or something, you know, just call out sick if you need a mental health day and you feel like you're going to break. Because this whole thing, this whole October is going to be about balance and centering yourself and sort of just healing from the busy year you had, all right? So that's all I have for you guys. Group number three, let's see what's going to happen to you in October 2018. So, October is going to be a time where you're going to feel very dedicated and driven to do well. This could be at school or at work. You're going to be extra determined and you're going to have a lot on your plate in regards to your future and you're going to be thinking a lot about your future and thinking a lot about future success. The chariot is a card of feeling driven and having a goal and wanting to achieve it and the king of pentacles talks about wanting to secure your future. So I'm definitely getting the, dry, uh, the feeling that you're going to be very driven and very motivated and you are going to be stressed out because you are going to want to do well so bad. There's going to be a lot on your shoulders that you feel like that has something to do pertaining to your future. Now, I know I have a, d a bunch of different people, a um, bunch of different ages and a bunch of different places in their life watching this video. So this could mean at school, you're going to feel overwhelmed with homework and there's going to be a pressure for you to do well or get a good grade or complete a bunch of work that maybe you procrastinated on. Um, you know, I'm just seeing in October, a lot of things that you procrastinated or put off doing is going to be the cause of your anxiety. So try to get a head start. If you're watching this in September, try to get a head start and take care of those things you're procrastinating on because your October self is going to thank you so much. Um, this also could be at work. There might be a position for a, a higher position opening up and you're going to be very dedicated on getting that position or, you know, there's going to be pressure for you to do really well and you're going to feel really stressed out. And with the Four of Swords, this tells me that you need to take it easy and chill out because you manifest your reality. So use the law of attraction. Attract success with minimal effort. That's what I do. Um, use petitioning. Use journaling. Use the law of attraction to attract what you want in regards to success, to manifest energy, to manifest motivation and dedication. You don't have to be the victim of all this stress. You don't have to be stressed out. I know that's harder said than done. I'm um, the queen of being neurotic. I totally understand. But just realize that success will come if you ask the universe, you believe you will receive it, and you step back and stop worrying about it. Because when you worry about the future, what you're actually doing is saying to the universe, I don't think I have this. And guess what? If you don't think you have it, the universe won't give it to you. So relax, petition, write in your journal what you want. Um, attract success to you without stressing out. Take it easy. It's okay. The future, it will be okay. And you know what? Even if you don't, if you weren't successful and you put in your all, guess what? It was meant to be. There are no wrong paths. There are no mistakes. Everything, even the bad things happen for a reason for the betterment of your future. And even though you can't see it in October, maybe even this year, I promise you, if it doesn't work out, you will see why. If very shortly, life will show you why and you'll be like, oh, that's why I didn't get it. That's why I put in so much hard work and it didn't happen because it was meant to happen for the betterment of your future. I've had so many instances where that happened and I guarantee you that will happen to you if, if the success doesn't come. Now, if you manifest success, good for you. That means you took away the stress and you believed the universe will give it to you. So don't stress out. Um, 
with the five of cups you might see yourself being left out of social situations because you're very stressed you have a lot on your plate you might feel like some people are leaving you out or you might voluntarily be um, taking a back seat on you know social gatherings because you feel very stressed out very overwhelmed that's okay take some time for yourself if you need to focus on the things if you need to don't worry about it your social life will pick up after October we all go through these months and if you have true friends they'll understand that now if they're leaving you out on the other hand cut those people out they're toxic they're not gonna watch them crawl back to you when you're successful and you get everything you want okay <laughs> Don't worry about those people then. They're bad friends and you don't want them around when you're at the top of your game and all of a sudden they want to include you. So if your friends are excluding you, cut those people out. They're bad people. They're not real friends. You don't need them. They're going to be a detriment to your success. They're going to slow you down. But this month in October, take it easy. Take some you time. Rejuvenate. Um, after work, after stressing out all day, binge watch Netflix. Get your favorite food. You don't have to be a social butterfly in October. It is okay. Um, after October, it's going to pick up. When you see the fruits of your labor progressing you've caught up in everything you need to do then go back into your social scene it's all right so we also have the magic within with master number 22 on it now master number 22 is the master builder number so this tells me you're really going to be building up success for the future this is going to be this month or October is very, going to be very crucial in your future and making you successful in the future. Now this includes, like I said, a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication. You're going to be very overwhelmed, but it's going to pay off in the future. And with magic within, that reminds you that you can manifest success. You can manifest it with the law of attraction. You don't need to worry. The universe has got you. If you believe the universe will give it, if you ask the universe, you will receive it. And remember, persistency is key. Journal for 10 minutes a day, petition 10 minutes a day, um, writing what you want in present tense and it will come to you. Relax, let the universe do its magic. Just do the best you can and petition for success, right? Um, let's see, we also have flower and it says pluck the weeds and plant the seeds of your most magnificent expression. So I feel like this month you're really going to be blooming into your highest self, the highest version of yourself. And that takes a lot of work. That takes watering, that takes plant food, that takes patience. So don't expect to blossom overnight. Um, you're still a little seed sprouting above the, the, the soil, but all your hard work, all your dedication, all of your self care will pay off in the spring. And that's sort of the message I'm getting right there. So this fall and winter may be a little harsh, but in the spring when all your hard work pays off, you will be thriving. So don't even worry about it. Um, we also have, you know, obsessions, scarcity, consciousness, attachment, the hungry ghost. So this is again a reminder that when you worry or when you're worried about the future, you live in scarcity consciousness, which means you're scared of something in the future. You're scared of not having what you want in the future, aka scarcity consciousness. So just keep in mind the more thankful you are for the things you already have, the more the happier you are about your journey, the more the universe will receive, will give you. Because when you're grateful, you vibrate at a higher frequency. And when you vibrate at a higher frequency, you attract bigger and better blessings. So don't worry about the future because you'll be living in scarcity consciousness, right? Be hopeful about the future. Be like, yeah, it's hard now. Yeah, to put a lot of hard work now and this month, but in the future, it's going to be great. It's going to be pay off. It's going to pay off and I'm going to be at the top of my game. Um, there might be a rift in a relationship. If you're in a relationship right now, I'm seeing there might be a little fight or you guys might break apart a little bit. You might feel like your partner is letting you down. You might feel kind of like the victim in a situation and you very well can be. But um, try not to let that distract you from your goal. And also, if you're in a relationship and that happens and you feel like your partner is not appreciating you or you know you feel bad in the relationship, try to do something nice for your partner instead. And when you do something nice for your partner and you give the love that you want, they will give it back to you. It's contagious. But if you're not in a relationship, this could mean that you might um, be on the down and outs with love. And you know what? That's a good thing because... Um, you have work you need to do for your future. So that would just be a major distraction. Try not to worry about that too much. But we also have this card, um, fem, fem, Femme Fatale, Female Fatale, man. I'm sorry guys, I don't make fun of the way I pronounce things. It's late, I'm a night owl, but it's late and my brain is scattered. Um, so this really tells me that you might be feeling a little 
I'm almost getting the vibe like a little bitter in love. You might want to, you know, flirt for your amusement or string people along for your amusement. You know, just something to relieve the stress of the day. And you know what? We've all been there. Well, most of us who are human have been there. Just try not to, you know, hurt anyone too bad. Try not, try to avoid doing that to people. Um, you also might feel a little bitter in love, like I was saying before, so you might feel the need to show off or be sexy to compensate for it, or, you know, your partner might be letting you down, so you might be, you know, playing hard to get, or you might be playing some mind games. It's just not going to be a good month for love, but that's okay, you know, relationships and life takes ups, upturns and downturns, so don't take this as like a negative thing, just take it as a, okay, well, what can I do to fix it? Um, you know, instead of, you know, playing games, I'm just going to show people the love I want to receive where instead of distracting myself the relationship I don't need in October because I need to focus on my future I'll worry about it later you know so don't worry too bad this is going to be a very influential month in building your future that's all I have for you guys I'm going to move on Group number four, let's see what will happen to you in October of 2018. So this is a positive card. I sometimes draw this for myself and I love it. This means somebody is going to be um, giving you some money. It could be at work, it could be a friend, it could be a family. In October, someone is going to loan you some money. Someone's going to give you a gift out of nowhere. Someone is going to spoil you a little bit. It could be your parents, a friend. They could. It could be money, it could be a gift. There, someone is going to think of you and be like, here, I thought of you, here's something to help you out. And it's going to bring joy to your life and you're going to be like, oh wow, this is great, this is awesome. I needed this or I wanted this and it's so nice that you thought of me. And it's going to be a real blessing thing. Um, this could be from an, an admirer I'm seeing with the Knight of Cups or someone who thinks you're pretty. This could also mean that you are going to feel the need to help out other people or you're going to be in a very charitable mood in October of 2018. And we have the world, so I feel like you're going to be more conscientious about the world and your fellow human and what's going on around you. And something is going to really push you and motivate you to do something nice for other people. Maybe it's for a cause, maybe it's a charity, but you're just going to, your heart is really going to go out, your heart chakra is going to be open and it's going to go out to somebody else in need and you're going to want to help them out and you're going to be their knight in shining armor. You're going to save someone's day. Remember, this is a general reading, so I'm just covering um, all the points that I'm getting, but you are really going to be the light in someone's life and it is going to be awesome. Now with the queen of swords, this normally talks about being bitter in love, so this could mean that you're going to be closed off from love in October but there's going to be this knight who's showering you in gifts, who is so infatuated with you and they're hot and you know, they're they're sweet, they have a great personality, and you're going to be a little resistant to it. You're going to be like, eh, I don't know, I'm not about this right now, because you're kind of going to be blocked off and not wanting to go there. Or if you're in a relationship, you know, your partner may do something that upsets you and they're going to really try to make amends with you and do something sweet and nice for you and be receptive of that because they're really sorry or they really want to show you they care and if you notice it and say thank you that will mean the world to them and also with the world this tells me that you're going to mean the world to someone in October it could be a friend, family or partner someone is going to really appreciate you and they're going to really um, appreciate the fact that you're in their life and they're going to want to show you that appreciation. Now we also have yin and yang. So we have this weird contrast. First of all, we have the card yin and yang, but then we have this contrast between the knight of cups who's sensitive and emotional and then the queen of swords who's logical and um, a little bitter at times, right? So I think you're going to be going through some mood swings. You're, And uh, you know, everyone goes through mood swings. Nobody is perfect. If you're a human, you go through different moods. So October, I feel like you're going to be a little hot and cold like the weather. Um, you know, one day you're going to be happy, loving, emotional. And the next day you're going to be somebody else. You're just going to be going through a lot of mood swings and that's okay. Just remember not to let it out on other people and, you know, communicate that you're feeling a little up and down and it's going to be cool. And I'm also seeing that um, this reminds me of soulmate or someone who's your opposite that completes you. So this could be a friend or a lover or a family member that you're really going to bond with that's almost like the opposite of you. 
and it's going to be a really great friendship. It's going to be a really great time. Um, this also tells me you're going to be very creative in October. With the Six of Pentacles, this talks about a talent. The Knight of Cups talks about a creative inspiration. So I'm seeing that there's going to be a talent you're going to develop or a talent you're going to explore or a talent you're going to showcase and you're going to be recognized for that talent. It could be this hidden talent, but it's, it's going to be a creative month where you're really working on that talent and maybe have a chance to showcase that talent as well. The Knight of Cups in the world also indicates travel, so you might be going on a little bit of a trip you might um, just be you know exploring different points of view but you're definitely going to see a different point of view in regards to you know physical travel or spiritual growth so we also have um, night light attributes loyalty romance chivalry an honor a love of honor so like I said there's going to be this knight on the side who's going to try to woo you or you're going to be the knight you're going to be the knight in shining armor um you might be a little uh, I'm sensing like some of you might be a little lovesick in October as well and you can't help it you don't want to but you're not going to be able to help it then we have the cosmos, creativity, vastness. So you're going to be extra uh, creative. You're going to be extra intuitive in October. So you're in your in October. Listen to your intuition because your intuition will be in full blown, full swing. If you have a good feeling about someone, which I think you will be. <laughs> Take that feeling and run with it because your gut will not lie to you in October. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on in October. Um, maybe it's Scorpio season or something. I don't know, but intuition is going to be at an all-time high. Your psychic ability will be at an all-time high. Pay close attention to your dreams. Pay close attention to your hunches. And you're going to be really connected and emotional. Like I said, mood swings up and down. And your, your heart's going to really go out to people. Then we have Angel. Um, tap into your higher wisdom. So... Once again, this pertains to psychic abilities, this pertains to intuition, this pertains to be in touch with a higher realm. So you might be called to be an angel in someone's life or your angels might call you to be an angel in someone's life. So I think this is really about, in October, um, it's really about getting out of yourself and helping someone else, getting out of yourself and being connected with other people instead of blocking people out. So that's a really important thing to remember in October for you is don't block people out. Let people in in October. It will pay off really well for you. It'll be emotionally fulfilling. All right, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.